welcome to the Council on Aging meeting. Carolyn, welcome. Thank you. It's nice to have you on our happy little crowd. Do you want to um, tell us one or two things about you that we don't know? Sure. I don't know how much you already know about me, but um, I just moved from Boston um, to this area. I've been working in assisted living for probably almost 20 years now. Um, and so moved down here and now I'm actually in the process of starting my own practice. Um, I'm also a licensed social worker as well, focusing on older adults and care caregivers. So Great. I'm happy to be a part of the board. Well, we're happy to have you. So welcome, totally Thank welcome. You. So I don't see any one, any member of the public. So I think we can, we won't have, don't have a public session. I so, think there is someone. Is there someone? Am I not? Teresa Soper. Yeah, I don't know. Oh, I'm sorry. To... Excuse me. Welcome. Hello. <laughs> Is there something you wanted to say to us? Uh, I'm just not sure how. Can you actually see me? Or I'm not very tech savvy. No, so... we, we we can hear you, but we can't see you at this moment. Okay, because I'm not really sure how to do it so that you can see me. Um, so on I the wanted to sit uh, in on your meeting. If you want to be on camera, if you look at the bottom left corner um, of mm -hmm. your screen, it, it'll it says video mute and then video on the bar on the bottom. I don't see that. I'm on a tablet. I'm using a little tablet. Then I think it may be in the upper right hand so, corner. It's in the up, above when you're on a tablet. Yeah. Okay. But if you if you just you find I a don't see that either. Well, you know what? We're oh, happy to have you I, I, without seeing you. We're happy to just listen to you. Um, but also, just, sorry, I have to, just in case, I, I just in your done. little box, if you if you go in the corner, just in your little box. So Brilliant. was your interest in just observing our meeting or did you have something that you wanted to address the members about? I wanted to find out more about your council, your committee, um, because okay. I was thinking about applying to be on the Council of Aging. Perfect. Then what, again, welcome, even more so welcome. And you. Um, we'll, you can learn by, by watching and we'll, we'll be on our best behavior for you. <laughs> <laughs> okay, thank you. <laughs> You're welcome. So um, we have um, the minutes from our September 9th meeting. Um, I'll entertain a motion to uh, accept those minutes. So moved. Okay, is there a second? Second. Thanks, Jean. So a motion and a second to approve the minutes. All in favor, can you just raise your hand? So it's visible since. Great, thank you very much. And poor Carolyn has gotten frozen. That's a good introduction. Yes, a good sorry. intro to us. Trying to fix it. Does anyone um, have any announcements that they would like to make? Jean, you do? Yeah. I just would like to say that the um, we we have posted a call for artists for the next um, twelve months, starting in March. The um, closing date is January first, and um, we'll we'll select the next twelve months of artists for the Artists of the Month program. That's great. You, do I assume from that that you've been getting a good response? We just. We just posted it this week. So I've only heard from two people. Um, it's on the, I, I, but it, it, it will go out in the Chronicle when it goes out. And um, so that, you know, I assume at that point we'll start to get more outreach. I've post, I put it in a few galleries, sent to a few galleries and I sent it to the Valley Arts newsletter. For those who don't know, for Teresa and for Carolyn, um, mm -hmm. We at the center, they feature the, the artworks of older adults um, on a reg, usually a month at a time. There's a one a wall, both sides of a, a long corridor that were, where there's actually a gallery. So if you if you know any artist who is interested, have them get in touch with Jean. Um, Marie, I think it's to you for the director's report. Okay. Um, so. Uh, I don't know, some of you have been to the center and seen some of the building upgrades that have been completed. Um, painting is all done and um, the counter is in, it's a beautiful granite countertop. Um, 
we're getting a lot of positive feedback about it. People really like that um, the reception area is more welcoming and accessible. Um, so I'm not sure yet when flooring is going in, um, but hopefully before, I'm hoping before Thanksgiving, <laughs> but we'll see. Um, so um, we have a new staff person coming on. Uh, staff is our last position that we needed to fill for staff assistant. Uh, Amber Grady will start on October 25th. So we're excited about that. Um, uh, I have put in for capital improvements for interior painting for the rest of the building, um, which hopefully um, will happen before 2027, but this is for the years, you know, 2023, fiscal year 23 okay. through 27. Um, and also for technology upgrades, which I'm hoping will happen sooner than later, but to get us um, ready to basically launch into this new world of hybrid programming that we've been managing um, over the pandemic, but want to keep building on. Um, so um, I've put in a request for funding for to to get that um, quote get quotes on that and get that started at some point. Um, so we'll see. Hopefully those those requests will get uh, funded. Um, I did just receive um, word from Highland Valley Elder Services that we did get the two proposals funded that I I put in for capital um, for Title Three funding. Um, one is to provide redu reduced fares and, and free fares for low-income uh, older adults to use our transportation services. And, um, and the other is for uh, starting a, the virtual senior uh, center program that I have outlined previously, but just for people who, who don't know about it, um, it's basically to build on the hybrid programming we've been doing and the online programming in conjunction with our technology loan program and, and training program. So um, that will be in collaboration with six other senior centers that um, may or may not already have a tech loan program um, and may need some consulting with us. Um, you know, I just offered to, tr to share all of our training materials that we developed with Youth Works through Community Action to help people get started and then we can share programming regionally. Um, and I'm, I'm really excited about it because I think, you know, as we're seeing, there's a lot of people who just aren't ready to come back to the center and actually a lot of people who really enjoy being able to do things online. So it, it, it not only expands our options to provide programming to people where they want it, but it helps us to reach those people who can't make it in to the center ever, like uh, who are homebound or don't ever come in the winter because they don't want to drive or because they're in Florida. Um, you know, so there's just, it really bridges a lot of gaps. So um, I'm excited about that initiative. Um, and um, I thought I would just report for the friends group. Um, they've, I think you all received a letter from them today. Um, and uh, so far, there's about 11,000 that's been raised, and um, they've put together all these baskets for an online auction that's going to happen um, and um, to try to get to our goal of 20K for lobby furnishings. And unfortunately, the, the shredding event that we had planned for November 6th had to be canceled, um, but hopefully we can reschedule that for the spring. Um, so there will be ads. I don't know if people saw them uh, in the paper this weekend. I did. You did. Okay, great. Yeah, for the pie, the pie yeah, sale. I was pleasantly surprised to see it. Great. And was the auction? Did you see the auction ad too? Yeah, they were side by side. Great. Okay. Yeah, I think it's great that we're you know we're trying to branch out to. Um, we don't want to be uh, just targeting older adults for our fundraising. So really getting it out to the general public is, is really, I, gonna, I think gonna make a big difference. So um, uh, I'm not sure if you want me to go through 
everything in this um, that I, the report I sent out, but building uses are just starting to percolate mm -hmm. a little bit more. Um, there's still quite a constraint on custodial um, capacity in the city. Um, they have been able to get, I think, a, a couple more people hired, but um, that is, you know, that and um, safety concerns and things like that are, are, you know, being major factors in our ability to rent uh, space here. So, um, but the farmer's market will be starting up here on the 20th. Um, and during the, those Saturdays when the farmer's market is here, which won't be every Saturday, we will have the fitness center accessible. Um, hopefully we're, we're hoping that people will pre-register for those hours like they are during the week. Um, and we did decide, um, you know, I, I spoke with the mayor about, you know, continuing our hours as eight to four for now. Um, we, you know, things are picking up a bit in terms of participation here, but it's still pretty slow. And um, it seems like people are just really uh, still pretty nervous about exposing themselves to Delta. And I think as the booster, uh, as pe more people get the booster that that may change. Um, so we'll see whether things pick up and then we'll reassess what our hours will be. Um, I think we've hit the 600 mark officially for the number of re uh, renewal appointments we've done uh, for members. So um, that's good. Um, I, you know, we have close to 3000 members, so it may take several, it may, it may take a, a couple of years to get all of them and, and not all of them will come back, obviously, but um, uh, let's see, lunch is really picked up. There's a lot more people picking up curbside and also dining in, um, which has been great. And I think people are really enjoying the curbside pickup um, and also just the larger portion option. Let's see. Um, we also decided to keep the, the fitness classes online for the month of November as uh, many members are still um, kind of preferring that. Um, and it and we weren't we aren't quite ready to provide the hybrid option, but as soon as we are, we'll we'll start that um, so that people could be on site exercising and people who want to be online could also be participating. Um, let's see, I think that might be everything on my report. It's, it's all it sounds like it's all good news. Yeah, yeah. Unless and if anyone has any questions. Anyone have questions for Marie? Carolyn, anything in there that doesn't make sense? Or are you just absorbing? Oh, you're muted. Yeah. Oh, sorry, for some reason I'm having tech. Uh, no, just, just kind of absorbing. It all makes sense to me. Great. Janet, it's not, you're up. Okay. Well, I'll try to continue with the good news. Um, so from a volunteer standpoint, things are definitely looking up there as well. Um, especially the past, I'd say the past couple of weeks in particular, there's been a real uptick in folks applying to be volunteers and, and a lot of newer folks, a lot of new folks um, asking to volunteer and in really interesting capacity. So it's really been very, very nice. I've been um, you know, trying to sit down and make appointments very quickly with people when I'm getting their new applications. And it's a, a lot of different talent coming through and um, in a lot of different ways. So I'm very pleased about that because it's really picked up. Um, two things in particular really stand out to me about the, the volunteers. One is I'm very excited to say that we have someone who um, just recently put in an application who uh, has a ton of fundraising experience, um, was the president of a fundraising uh, a council um, uh, senior center out in Marshfield, has been the women's president of Rotary Clubs, you know, gets the whole thing, right? Um, met with her the other day and she's wonderful. Um, 
had a great meeting. I, you know, gave her a tour. We, we sat extensively. She responded very quickly. So, um, getting her in the door as quickly as possible to help with the friends group and be a new, new member there. And she's all in. So I'm very happy about that. I think she's going to be a really big asset for, for the friends group and for the, for the senior center. You're going to make De Dennis go to 20th heaven. <laughs> I think I know that's my next step is to set up a meeting with Dennis and Marie called to get them in so they can kind of, you know, also, also meet and talk with her. But I think, um, yeah, I was, I was all smiles after that one. So that's a good one. Um, I also had a really great meeting yesterday with a new member, a new uh, senior center member um, who is a perfect fit for social services. Um, lovely, lovely woman who worked at Smith and um, did some teaching at Smith and so forth. And I think she's, we've been really, I've been really trying to vet the right person to do that social service work. And Michelle really needs some help with that, you know, just doing that outreach and the research in the community for resources and the follow-up. And, um, and so I'm, I'm thrilled because I spent an extensive time really trying to talk to people about who's the right fit for that. And I think I found that right fit. So we're going to try to get her in the door soon to um, help Michelle because you know, while it's quiet to some extent, slowly picking up here in in house, I think Michelle's swimming a little bit because you know the needs in the community have only grown. So um, yeah, so really want to try to get some folks to really give her a hand. Just just having those warm calls to people and having someone else to be able to kind of do an intake and get a sense of what's really going on out there for folks. So um, so those are the two big highlights for me. Um, for volunteers, ambassadors are doing great. We got our new welcome desk. And so that's really been a nice thing for them. I think they feel like they have a home um, and they can kind of really, you know, sit on their perch and welcome people and, and, and do the work. So that's been really good. Um, and just very thankful for all the volunteers that have been so um, quick to volunteer to help with the bake sales. And um, that was such a great uh, fundraiser for us, the early voting. So we're doing it again, you know, this next coming at the end of the month. So. Um, Nice to have folks just really jump in quick to help with that. Um, I think that's pretty much it for volunteer stuff. It's coming, you know, slowly but surely it's coming up and we've got some good ranks. So as far as the tech program, um, we are getting underway with the two new students. Again, still part of community action, but it's a little bit of a different um, program there. Um, we have met, I have met um, with them a couple of times now, um, and we will be officially really getting going the first week in November with them. Um, a reminder that the two students, one being based in Hampshire County, one in Franklin County. Hampshire County, um, she will be here on site three days a week for roughly two to three hours a day uh, for that appointment, those one-on-ones with individuals to help with, you know, setting up the iPad, learning to use a phone, whatever, whatever those tech questions are, she will be here. And then the, um, the student in Franklin County will be doing things virtually, setting up a helpline on Tuesdays and Thursdays for probably about three hours a day that we will that will work in tandem and complementary so that then if there's follow-up calls that need to be made, that line will be open. Um, Stacia, the, the, the young woman who's gonna be here on site will be able to kind of feed information to her counterpart in Franklin and say, this person could use some follow-up to help with A, B, C, and D, whatever. Um, so really excited about that Two Very nice young students. Um, and so that's really getting underway right now. It's kind of the training period, trying to get them acclimated to our iPads, our systems, my senior center a little bit kind of so that they kind of can feel at least comfortable enough in answering some basic questions for our patrons. Um, I think that's it. Any questions? It, also, it is all good news. Thank you. Jean, do you have a question? Do you have to be, a, will people have to be a member in order to get the tech support? Yeah. That, yes, yes, they do. And, and, and we're really trying to, we're not limiting it to Northampton specifically, but for the, for the, you know, trying to kind of make that a priority for Northampton residents and members. And also, especially with the loans, like if they want to use, you know, take out an actual iPad or something, we're keeping it for Northampton folks. That, just, that was kind of part of the, um, you know, the money that was given for the program was really specific for Northampton. Yeah, I didn't know about the hotline, you know, that one. Oh, that's a, that's a, 
uh, that I hadn't really thought that through. That may be something to think about if there's a way to kind of, I, I don't know that we want to be branching way into Franklin County for everything, but there might be some periphery folks, you know, East Hampton folks or whatever. I'm not sure that that would be, we'd be crossing the line too much if we had them call the hotline. I think, I think we'll, if it's, if we're not getting a lot of use and, um, and it seems feasible, it wouldn't make sense to allow uh, our regional partners to, to do that. But it, it may be that this will inform how we move forward, like with yeah. building it, because I think, I think every community right now is trying to figure out how to meet these needs and not every senior center has the capacity to, to manage this kind of program. So there are a lot of discussions about it happening um, on a regional level. Yeah. So, and we still don't have the capacity to have people take a membership online, right? No, they, we really want them to have a in-person meeting with us because we, we want to orient them to the building and to our safety protocols. And um, we would need to take their picture if they don't have a picture. Um, a lot of people have old pictures and don't look the same as they did when they became members the first time around. And sometimes their picture is like of the corner of the room and not <laughs> actually of them. Yeah. So... I think also, Jean, we're really trying to, as we're bringing new people in or, or you know, renewing memberships, really trying to um, re-educate on my active center and trying to kind of get, get them into that process more. And, and that's that's um, been a kind of a pretty big undertaking <laughs> for some, uh, some extent. But I think a lot of that can't happen unless they're on, you know, in person. So, yeah, I was just yeah. thinking of growing the membership. And yeah. I tech support is one of those places that people really like. Yeah. Well, and, yeah. and, you know, maybe we can, and as Marie said, kind of as we broaden that out, you know, maybe if the news gets out there, this is out there more that it might, you know, be the, be the incentive for people to come in and, and be, become members if they know they can get that help. Right. So yeah. um, let's hope. I think so too. Marie, did you want to talk at all just about, um, just while we're on the tech stuff, as far as the kind of the work groups that we're both on or the separate, you know, like I'm doing the. Um, well, so, I mean, that's kind of what I was referring to in terms yeah. of the regional collaboration. There's a lot of, um, there's a lot of uh, work being done on just establishing policy right now. And also um, I think just scoping out what the funding needs are for these initiatives and to, to bolster um tech support to older adults in the region. Um, I presented at the, the conference um, a little while ago about our program and they, um, the uh, Healthy Aging Communities um, EOEA's initiative it did sort of a, a study of our <laughs> program. And so that will be available as um, a model program. And there were a couple others too that will um, be available for people um, to build off of and, and share resources. So um, I think, you know, we're, we, we may just be at the cutting, you know, right at the, at the cutting edge of like this becoming a, a much more broadly funded um, initiative through EOEA, like that we may have more money available to us. We may have more support and, but at this point it's sort of a grassroots thing that's building and, and, uh, we're all learning from each other. So um, Janet went to a recent, um, uh, you know, meeting about sort of brainstorming around the needs in terms of all the different layers of how uh, tech tech could get to people in the community. And you know, Northampton is also working on on that here. So if at some point um, Northampton does become, you know, technology or internet becomes a utility, um, that will be a wonderful thing for older adults here, but that, uh, that's kind of a new thing and may take a while um, to, to actually be, come to fruition. So until then, we need to be uh, building what we've done and building it out so that it can be uh, reach more people and um, you know, and so what, you know, one of the things I, I didn't say in my report was that, you know, my goal from, you know, the get-go of coming on here was to, to broaden, um, to not just be um, 
fee based a fee based institution to really live up to our mission and um, to to function wholly as a nonprofit and um, to bring you know resources to people who don't have them and so we're we're doing that more through financial aid. Um, I guess that's one thing I didn't say in my report is that I'm I'm going to city council to ask for more gift fund money to to put towards financial aid, but um, the tech the tech piece plays into that as well because there are a lot of people who would love to learn how to use technology and would benefit greatly, but may don't maybe don't have the resources, and so that's going to be one thing in terms of our um, the digital divide that we'll really want to be looking at is how do we how do we fund and um, actual devices getting into people's hands um, and then we have you know we have these collaboratives that are happening these collaborations are happening to provide training and support but um, we, we at some point if we hit uh, hit a wall where we can't actually provide the devices we're, we're kind of stuck right so there's just a lot of a lot of um, a lot of areas that we we can see growth is going to be needed in so great thank you <clears throat> again all all good news appreciate it um i just i should have probably added this in an announcements to just bring folks a little update or where where we are with the age friendly work um marie and i were part of a short meeting this today and and a week or so ago we have we're part of the consortium with pioneer valley planning commission who has taken the lead and basically drafted the um, age-friendly action plan for us and that's in getting finalized with some action steps it's going to go to the mayor for his input and reaction and then we'll go back to the age-friendly steering group and simultaneously to council and aging members just to look at it get some response before it's submitted to AARP and uh, and as well some interest in individually getting involved in the work groups so that the action plan breaks out some concrete next steps in a variety of areas and I have to believe that people around the screen here might have some interest in addition to the folks who are in the working group and getting involved so Stay tuned for that big ask, review it ask coming your way. Is there any old business that anyone wants to bring? <laughs> Anything new that we haven't discussed? Anything new that we want to think about for our next meeting? Anything you might want to know more about? Uh, we, we just need to talk about the date i guess for next month too so we've been doing the third the second thursday third thursday today's the third thursday which puts it at november 18th is it the third can't be the third thursday today's the third thursday of october How oh no i take it? it back and we did my calendar wrong I'm sorry. <laughs> yeah, yeah we always do the second thursday and uh, the 13th couldn't be the third thursday and then in November, it's uh, Veterans Day. That's right. Why. The 14th is Veterans Day? No, in November. November 11th. Next yeah, got it. Okay. I, see Thursday, yeah. Yeah. I have a bad calendar. Sorry, guys. <laughs> what do you have, uh, Marie? Did you have a date in mind? Do you want us to figure well, out something? Well, we could go to the third Thursday, um, which is the 17th, I think. 18th? 18th 18th would that work for folks november 18th mm, i guess it's a week before what? thanksgiving oh i'm off i'm actually on vacation that week well let's not do that week then uh well do we want to do the first week then what about the november 10th the day before the wednesday i don't know if we can can we i guess we can do that we can change our day right um our meeting yeah i think so will the 10th work for everyone yep so why don't we go try for the 10th it just means probably you need to get the information you know for the 
noticed to us the Friday where the verses, whenever it is. Yes. But yeah. yeah. Let's shoot for the 10th. Okay. At three o'clock, 3.30. 3.30, same time, just different day. Okay. Anything, does any, anybody have anything they want to bring up before we decide to adjourn? Short and informative all good news meeting. Thank you, everyone. Yeah, very good news. Very exciting. Everything it is, it is, it is, isn't it? It yeah. is just I feel like there's just, some new new breath, you know. I, yeah, I'm really excited. Just yeah. Jenny, I know you just gave us two illustrations, but the fact that you're you're finding new people with different, yeah. you know, interesting talent sets who are willing to commit, particularly you you know, in addition, you're making Dennis's day, you're gonna make Michelle <laughs> a month. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Good stuff. Help and much needed help. It's it's all great. Thank you. Thanks for sharing with us. Okay, let's let's a motion to adjourn the meeting. So moved. A okay. second. Thank you, Aji. I think we're adjourned. I've got 408, 403. Great. Thanks, everyone. We'll see you on November 10th. Okay. Thank you, everybody. Thank, Thank you, everybody. Everybody. Bye -bye. Bye -bye.